Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from Group 4 And today we're gonna present our project That name is Taro Donuts Low Calorie and Low Emissions But first of all, we're gonna introduce ourselves first I am Aisha Mikaela This is I am Anissa Hanawan I'm Kaisa Adipa I'm Prince Anissa Sabila Okay, so the first who's gonna present is me. Okay, so I kind of changed the title. The history of donut. So, based on history, donut is donut is made by Dutch, and Dutch call it Oli Koks. And Oli Koks is known as oil cake too, as early as the 19th century. These early donuts were only a round ball fried in with lard until golden brown. Why is donut has a metal? Why donut has a metal on it? Because Hanson Gregory made a middle, uh, made a hole in the middle, is uh, before he fried it. So, and Hanson Gregory is a. Uh, American ship captain in 1847. The hole and the hole and the donut is increase the increase the the hole and the donut increase the surface area exposed to the hard oil so as to the so as to avoid the 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 center being disequal with one per five of daily calorie needs of children aged 9 under 13 years and donuts have 27 grams of sugar for illustration to burn those calories we show the bicycle for 5.1 miles or 8.2 kilometers Next, please. And some health problems that arise due to excess calories include obesity, stroke, high blood pressure, and heart disease. So, and the second is, according to the carbon apple, every one US dollar for the not to produce 152.3 grams of carbon footprint. And this equal with with a vehicle that traveling as far as 0.38 miles, or charging a battery handphone for 18.58 times. That was horrible. But what is carbon footprint? Carbon footprint is the total amount of carbon dioxide or emission that your that produced by your action. And this is produced and this is made global warming can see this picture from the world and that's why we do this project methodology first we do the drama survey survey the last planning the last cooking analysis and the last is conclusion so what we will do we will are just changing some wheat flour into taro flour, changing butter with margarine and and reducing less milk than regular donuts. Make this ready. Thank you. 
gonna have a lot of time. Yeah. For example, it's like uh. Is it traditional food of Jakarta? No. No. Why did you choose it? Because the time is coming from all us. All about Jakarta. We make donuts. We make this donut uh, have a relation with Jakarta. So we made an alteration between Taro. The Taro is a traditional or local. And donut is modern culture. So we made an alteration. So we made an alteration. But yeah. which uh, part in your product that so us about the culture of DKI Jakarta? I mean Taro. Taro is fruit that's from uh, Pulau Jawa. And Jawa and Jakarta is different. Jakarta is Jawa. Yeah, I only like the blueberry too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just like the jam. 
Now for the conclusion. The conclusion is that donuts are one of the most popular foods among the public, which became famous in the year 1968 at the Jakarta Fair. One of the reasons why, one of the factors why donuts are starting to become a or donuts are starting to become London is because nowadays donuts are starting to you know, are starting to create and develop innovations in flavors, shapes, and types of new donuts. This means that we, as the younger generation of Indonesia, must flourish, must preserve Indonesian specialties. And now for the suggestion. The author's suggestion for preserving traditional donuts is to try to introduce authentic donuts from Indonesia to the surrounding environment, such as family, school, or neighbors. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah. No, what else that you have learned? No, I'm not even. 
Yeah, you can learn about carbohydrates, you can learn about... I'm sorry, it's my opinion, eh? Uh, because, do you know what, um... Uh, okay, before I ask my main question to you, okay, are you trying to uh, make this donut famous amongst teenagers in Chicago? Am I right? With this look? With, no. with this look? With that look? No. You're trying to make this donut uh, famous among uh, teenagers in Chicago. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. 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 And then, kind of have you tasted them? Yeah. Oh. Yes. And then, and you think the taste of the donut can compete with, you know, with the famous donut or with donut that most teenagers uh, like the most, like uh, J, you know, J something. J uh, don't mention the brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or dancing something. What do you think? It can this donut, your donut jalabia, can compete with that those donuts? Yes, teacher. Oh, are you yes, sure? Yes, we made confidence. Oh, are you sure? Okay. Really? Yes. What is the strong point of your donut if you want to compare with the famous donut? What is the strong point of it? We look at Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will add new what topping did you put it there? Maybe the sprinkle. No, maybe you have put them there. Yeah. What is blueberry. the topping? Blueberry. 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 